It's not every day we're putting construction fence inside a warehouse. Today I will be taking over the shop from Matt and I will be making a 24 foot roll gate. Hopefully I can do it in one day. Now, while John was wrapping up that big slide gate, Eric had to scoot out to Bass Pro Shops to repair some temporary fencing we put up a little while ago for him. Well, it's fixed. Now that one, now that foot's broken, huh? Yeah, I'll have to replace that one, which I don't know if it'll even fit. Okay. I mean, I guess it did before, right? Yeah, well, me and Matt had to kind of uh, kind of kind of. We're here at an undisclosed location. It's Bass Pro. Setting up, fixing, I guess, some panels that have fallen over. Looks like we broke a foot off here and we're missing some sandbags. So basically we're just gonna set them back up, replace this foot, throw some sandbags in here. I think we're good to go. So we had to go back to the shop to get more sandbags because we didn't bring them because who would have thought someone stole sandbags from a parking lot? I mean, that's kind of weird to steal sandbags, but whatever. All right, how'd it go? It went fantastic. Super easy, looks fantastic. We're basically the greatest finches of all time, me and Braden. Um, yeah, it was pretty good. We put more sand on there, which mainly the reason that it fell over is we were out of sand. finished the roll gate and I think it turned out pretty good. Probably better than Matt's.
All right. Another day wrapped up. Now, on Thursday, the guys had some unconventional work to do. It's not every day we're putting construction fence inside a warehouse. Now, Matt and John had to do a little custom work. They had to lengthen one of the ornamental steel panels so it would fit really nicely into two already placed masonry columns. Now, the reason we had to do the fabrication is because Mr. Fence Tools hasn't created a panel stretcher yet. Here's looking at you, Sean. Most of them were like seven foot apart or something. Okay. These concrete columns, and they're gonna put these in between the columns. But these particular sections of the columns were too wide, and they were wider than what an original panel is. Okay. So we had to somehow make the panel wider. So to avoid having to mess with the pickets, I decided to just add, I think it was like six inches. So I decided to put three inches on this side and three on this side. Okay. That way it still kind of looks like it came from the factory somewhat. So it was actually a little more difficult than I thought it was going to be or that I hoped it was going to be. Um, but at the end of the day, I think they look pretty good and they're both evenly spaced on each side and the pickets are relatively uniform. So I think it turned out pretty good. Nice.